Good afternoon, everybody. It is about 12.30 here on day six. Um, Abby and I are actually on our way to Florida for a top 1% coaching session with JT Fox. I uh, was thinking that I was going to talk a little bit about, you know, diet and exercise and nutrition and a little bit more about coaching and one of the big things that kept getting pressed into my mind. And so obviously it's something I need to address is something that I was actually talking to my kids with and some of my clients um, yesterday when I was coaching. And that is something that's critically important to everyone and they don't even realize it. And that is your circle of influence. And most people look at the circle of influence as like, who am I influencing? And while that's a piece of that puzzle, what's more important is who is influencing you. Um, yeah, I can't even stress this enough. When we're, if you have kids, you know the importance of friends and who your kids are hanging out with and what are they doing and what kind of trouble do they get into and what kind of good things do they do. But for some reason, we just stop that whole concept when we become adults. Like we're, now we can be friends with everybody because we're adults. And that's just not the case. Um, there's some very, very toxic people in the world and they don't need to influence you if you're trying to get your life back on track. <laughs> Um, the number one person that has the most influence in my life, boop, she said, do not put me on the video. So <laughs> I had to, um, but we're just having fun and we're talking and we're goal setting and, and heading down here and it's a really big meeting and I'm realizing just how much of an amazing influence Abigail is in my life and, and your significant other should be that much of an influence. They should want you to win more than anybody else. Um, and you should want them to win more than anybody else. They don't necessarily have to do something for you, but man, they just gotta make you feel like you can do it, you should do it. Um, if you're trying something new and you're trying to get your act together and, and, and push forward and you have friends that are like, oh, that's just a waste of time or money or energy or you can't do that, you need to cut those people out of your life. Um, I said it's time to clean house or to reach out. Um, it's always been said that, you know, your level of the difference between you today and the you in five years is the books you read and the people you know and your friends list. Um, if you look at your friends and they're all, you know, you look at your closest friends, top five, ten friends, and they're just kind of like on the ho-hum, life is challenging, kids are challenging, everything is hard. I need to work harder, there's not enough money. That's exactly what you're like because you attract the people that you are, not the people that you want to be. If you wanna be more, you need to reach out more. Um, and that's a really hard thing to do. So if you were to look at your life like a bullseye, or the talk- It's an easy thing to do. It's an easy thing to do? You just said it's a hard thing to do. It, it, it is a hard thing to do because some it's people... It's an uncomfortable thing to do. Let's it, call it, it uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. See, she's always willing to correct me right <laughs> then, anywhere, anytime. Word usage. Word usage. <laughs> it's all good, You baby. just said not to fear out people <laughs> who said life was hard, and then you said it was a hard thing to do. Well, it is because, you know, a lot it's of times you've got friends thing. that you've had for years, and you're trying to grow and become more and do more. And to distance yourself from them, it, it it's like isolates you. But in that isolation, you find out who and what you really are, and that gives you the opportunity to define who you are, who you wanna be, and to start affiliating and associating with people that are moving in the direction that you want. Um, if you think about the target symbol, like it's got the rings, right in the middle bullseye, those, those are circles of influence in your life. Abigail's right in the bullseye. There's me and Abby. That next ring out, a lot of people have a, um, the wrong people there or too many people there. The people that should be right next to that inner ring are the people that are like coaches, mentors, really, really good friends that want to influence and bring the best out in you. Um, it's not necessarily a friends list, but it's a, it's a, a counselor, it's somebody you go to to talk for advice. And you can look at their life and go, yeah, 
That's the direction I want to head. And it's not just money. They can have a great family. They can have a great job. They can have a great personal life. Um, they're doing those things. But when you look at these people and you let them into your inner circle of influence, they should be your equal or better. Because you're going to ask advice from people that have what you want. And especially in today's internet market, everybody's a coach, everybody's a guru, and so many people just aren't getting shit done. And if you wanna have a great relationship, find other couples that have great relationships. You wanna have trouble in your relationship, start hanging out with other couples that have troubles in their relationships, and you will have troubles. It's just how it works. If you can look at your life and go, I'm not happy where I'm at, I want more, find out who in your life has more and ask them how. Um, you never wanna take advice from somebody who isn't doing what you wanna get done. If you don't wanna have their life, don't take their advice. Um, the next ring out from that is what I call my friends list. And those are the people that I hang out with, that I'll do stuff with. They're kind of your gang, your pack, and, and what you want to do. And you have a level of influence on them, and they influence you. And so in that group, you can have your best friends. You can have family members. The problem with most people is they just put the wrong people in and like, well, this person always asks me for advice, so I should ask them for advice. No, that, that's not necessarily the case. Oh, well, it's my sister. She's one of my best friends. I need to ask her advice. That, that's not necessarily the case. Um, and my sister's one of my best friends. Um, she's one of Abby's best friends. I mean, we're, we're great. And fortunately for us, she's a doctor. She's ambitious. She's got our kids at heart. So she can be in that inner group of, hey, what do you think we should do? Family, this, that, and the other. But I don't necessarily ask her advice on business, on online marketing. So you make sure that the, the people that you have that influence you are the significant areas. If you have somebody in your life that when you go hang out or they're around you and you bit, you're with them and you're like, man, this just sucks. I don't know what to do. They're always talking negative. They're not going anywhere. You need to, if you don't cut that person out, you're not going to grow past it and you can't force yourself to take you take them with you. You literally have to kind of like take them out of the circle and move them all the way out on that fringe because you've got your influencers, you've got your friends and family, then you have the acquaintances, people that you do different things with for different reasons. Um, we have couples that we go out and do stuff with so that the kids can hang together. And in that, within that group, we've got some that are deal with the teenager side and some that deal with the infant side. There's the mom's group, and then there's the you know 16-year-old teenage boy group. It's a totally different group, and they have a level of influence. But if you're hanging out with the people, and they're like talking ideas and growth and getting better and how to improve what you're doing, that's what you want. So take a look at your life and say, how influential is my spouse in my life? And are they constantly helping me to grow and be the best version of myself that I see? So I'm not trying to create Abby in an image that I see for her. I'm looking here and going, this is what she is. This is what she does. This is what she wants to do. Yes, I want to help her reach those goals. Not, oh, I think you should do this, babe, because it works for me. And so you're always trying to promote that. So you need to look at that in your spouse and you may need to have some conversations. Um, next is who is gonna, are gonna be your influencers. Hopefully you're finding this 30 day challenge to be worth your time and money. It's worth the effort to go, wow, you know, I really do need more influencers, thank you. I just did you a great favor. Um, because uh, it has been said that your greatest fan is someone you have never met. And that's, it is true in my case. And my biggest hater is somebody that I used to be close to. And it's amazing to me, but it's true. And so the people closest to you are the ones that can be the most toxic. So you need to clean that out and move them out. And when they ask you advice, give them advice, but don't engage in the drama. Um, and then who are you hanging out with and why are you hanging out with them? And do you need to find a new group of friends? It doesn't mean that you don't ever hang with like the mother's morning out or the, the baseball guys for the high schoolers. 
It means that you go, this is the direction that I'm heading. How do I find and engage with more people in that arena? And it's the never been easier in the online space. I have some amazing, awesome, ambitious, driven friends that I have never met. I have a mastermind group and I'm, uh, you know, we're headed to JT's house here for one percenters and we know these people. We're going to get to meet them, some of them for the first time, but we're all bantering and we're all ambitious and we've set real goals for 2020 and want to back to our business, our families, our lives. And we're all super excited for it at the end of the week. Um, I had another mastermind with some different people that I've worked with on different projects. Never sat down face to face with them. We've done some webinars, we've done some Zooms, some presentations. And one guy's like, dude, we just got to get us all together in one place. And he's like, just come out now. He should have come to Atlanta where it's warmer, but we're going to British Columbia where it's colder. But still, it's the opportunity to work with some just real high level people and and mastermind and create something that I think is going to be a huge impact for everybody here and everybody online. So really look at your circle of influence. Um, you want 80% of your time to be spent with people that are urging you to be better. And you want to tend, spend 20% of your time helping other people. Because otherwise, it, you, you lose. It's the 80-20 rule. You're going to take more people with you as you grow. Um, and in your pact and in your group of people, you know, sometimes you got to break away. And, it's, and historically, this is what I've seen is you break away from a group of people and like, oh, you think you can do that? And then they're like, wait a minute, he is doing that. And then they're going like, hey, can you show me how to do that? Somebody needs to get out and do it so that everybody believes that, hey, they can. Because they don't believe they can do it, so they don't believe you can do it. So just look at your friends list. Look at the way that you create influence. Look at the things that you talk about. <coughs> if you're talking about people... Or things like that, that's not a good conversation. You want to talk about ideas and growth and helping other people and kids and whatnot and the things that are deep inside. And those people will help you grow there. So look at your circle of influence. Have a great day and we'll chat tomorrow.